If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to the Courtside Financial Podcast, where we talk about business and technology. In today's installment, we're going to be taking a look at the IPO market, where Reddit stock has blasted off into the stock market stratosphere. So this is going to be an interesting video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K subscribers before the year is over. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you click the notification bell icon. All your engagement really does help the channel out, helps us reach a broader audience. And so without further ado, let's get into the episode. That's right, everyone. Reddit, the digital coliseum where the Internet's gladiators clash in verbal combat, has officially gone public. According to our friends at TechCrunch, our source for today's video, Reddit stock closed its first day of trading with a stratospheric surge. It's up 48%. That's a very, very, very substantial gain. But hold on to your hats, my financial thrill seekers. We're just getting warmed up with today's story. Despite Reddit's meteoric rise, it's still sailing through unprofitable skies, with net losses clocking in over $90 million last year. Reddit's not just an ordinary social media juggernaut. This platform holds the golden keys to AI's future. That's right, folks. Reddit's got an AI ace up its sleeve. It raked in a cool $203 million by selling data contracts to AI-hungry companies last year. Think of Reddit as a treasure vault of data a veritable gold mine for those hungry large language model AI companies. And you know what they say, data is the new gold. But wait, before you go all in on Reddit stock, buckle up for a twist. The FTC has entered the fray. They're launching an inquiry into Reddit's plan to license its user data. Will this investigation cast a shadow over Reddit's AI aspirations, or will it emerge unscathed like a phoenix rising from the ashes? Only time will tell, my friends. Now let's talk turkey about tech triumphs. Reddit's IPO extravaganza is bigger than just Reddit. It's a victory lap for the entire tech industry. With Astera's blockbuster IPO still ringing in our ears, the tech IPO game is heating up faster than a silicone chip in a furnace. But hey, don't pop champagne just yet. Remember everyone, initial success doesn't always mean that it's going to be that way for the long haul. Many tech IPOs from yesteryears have hit um, some turbulent skies after their initial spikes and euphoria. However, as the saying goes, charts that point up are more bullish than charts that, than charts that don't. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and our eyes on the charts. Not that I'm invested in Reddit anyway. And what about the question that looms over our heads like a dark cloud? Will the IPO window stay ajar, allowing more tech titans to go public? Well, if the Nasdaq's recent acrobatics are any indication, then we just might witness an IPO renaissance like no other. Anyways, that's it for this installment of the Courtside Financial Podcast. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. It really does go a long way in helping out. And we're trying to get to 10K before the year is over. Hit the like button, click the notification bell icon, leave a comment down below. Uh, we'll catch you in the next installment. Thanks for watching.